Hello, everybody. I'm wanting to uh, talk to you today about your horses that have been turned out for a while, like through the winter, and when it comes time to start riding them and tuning them up and things. Uh, this little mare here I broke last year, and she has been hauled all over the world, trail ridden. The lady that owns her has not done none of the softening exercises and things. Uh, she's got on her and rode her. Okay, now the lady that owns her is really short and this mare is really tall. So now she decided to sell her and here I am going to tune her up a little bit. When you've turned your horses out for the winter and you haven't done nothing with them, chances are these horses are going to be stiff when you get back on them. This mare right here is a prime example. See how she's doing right there? She's kind of aggravated because I have been pulling around on her and then I thought while I was doing it, crap, I ought to be making a video on this. But just like you're flexing, see how she moves around here? And she's pulling on my hand. She knows to flex. But she's resistant. She's resistant. She's stiff, especially on this left side. So if you watch my hand, I'm sitting here just kind of bumping. Say, so get over here. Stay with me. Don't be pulling against me. You know, things like that. When I loped her here a while ago, she'd be loping along, she'd just stop. And that's because she's stiff, she's wanting to stop, she don't want to go forward. And what she is going forward, she's going on her front end. She's not pushing off on the back end. And you watch whenever I'm back here. See, I'm going to put quite a bit of pressure right there to get her to come back. Okay? When you get these horses in, and even if it's your own personal horse, flex flex. Get on them, pull their head around, ask them to go forward. Ask them to go forward, and if you can, almost do a flex with forward motion. There, there. Well, when I come around, look at her head. It was right now. See there? Now we're getting some bend back in her body. See, now you'll have to pull kind of hard on this side. See how she's sticking that nose out? There you go, right there. If you just do things like this right here, That'll help you so much more and have a much more enjoyable ride. And then when you give her head, you back up. Stop. See, I'm still pulling hard on that. Once she gives to me, I release it. I'm going to walk forward again. Look, sitting back in my saddle. I'm pulling not near as hard, but notice the first place she went. The nose come up. Do not release that when that nose is up. You sit there and just wait. And I'm not pulling hard right now at all. See right there? That's what you're wanting. Notice the chin stayed in, the back was round. She's back on her hind end. Doesn't matter if it's a walking horse, a fox trotting horse, a quarter horse. Horses need to be working off their back end. That's called impulsion. You've got to have impulsion for a horse to go forward. I've, I've rode some of these gated horses, and just like sitting right there, look how soft that's starting to get. No more than we've done. When you ask them to go forward, you can feel them actually pulling with those front feet. And the ass end here is just dragging. It's not doing nothing. It's just trying to keep up. What I want when I ask one to go forward, I want to feel that back end push my, on my butt when she takes a step. I want her to push off on the back end. And how you get the back end engaged is by backing. See there? I just barely touched it. Look at here. Now we're starting to think back, okay? On your chargy horses and things like that, a horse wanting to run off, they're not thinking back and they're not thinking back here where you are. They're thinking way up yonder. So you get the combined area and you just basically sit here full. See, I just kind of threw my feet forward. I didn't really touch her mouth. Right now I am, because she's still pulling. Right there, I kind of bang her off that a little bit. And there you go. So. Anyway, that's just a little old tip I want to show y'all. Whenever you get on them for the first time, don't just ride them off. Sit here and pull their head around and feel those horses out. See how they're thinking. Because if she if she was just fresh and she and I, I asked her to go and I touched her with that spur and she wanted to go bucket, it's going to take me a little bit to shut her down. Whereas if I do it this way, I've already got her shut in. I can just pull right here. She can't buck, she can't rear, she can't do nothing. She got her head turned around. So, anyway, stay tuned, there's more coming. Thank you.